This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, March the 26th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. There's a look at our surface map for today. And believe it or not, uh, hard to believe in central and north Alabama, but we have showers that are not too far away with that stationary front that is lingering along the Gulf Coast. But the focus is primarily on the weather system to our west and northwest that is likely to bring us some rain and possibly some thunderstorms on Sunday, Easter Sunday. In the upper atmosphere, uh, we're watching a trough come across out of the northern part of the Rockies into the central plain states, and that will be uh, generating a bit of a low pressure area, and that will drag a front into our area for Sunday, bringing us some pretty good chances for rain. Temperatures across the United States are not too bad this morning. Uh, at this hour, pretty warm across the southeastern U.S. and especially the peninsula of Florida with temperatures in the 70s. Wow. Uh, a little bit cool still across the northern tier of the United States and especially in north central United States where they're down into the teens. No teen values across central Alabama, but uh, we are watching a good deal of moisture down across the southeastern quadrant of the state where there's a good deal of fog. And temperatures across central Alabama, generally around the 50-degree mark, uh, 47 at Tuscaloosa, 50 at Anniston, and uh, 53 at Birmingham. So kind of um, median there is about uh, 50 degrees. As I say, the showers are not too far away. We've got some showers along the Gulf Coast and just inland across uh, northwest uh, Florida Panhandle, as well as the southern counties of Alabama. Watch warning map is actually pretty clean this morning. Uh, we do have some uh, uh, red flag warnings. Those are those pink values out there in southern New Mexico and southeastern uh, Arizona. The blues are freeze uh, warnings across parts of Kentucky and Tennessee and a little bit of Indiana and Illinois. And then there's an assortment of other little warnings. And uh, all those little green streaks that you see in the lower Mississippi River Valley, those are still flood warnings. Storm Prediction Center has a marginal risk over uh, the uh, northern part of Florida and uh, over in the Red River Valley area, uh, just outside the Texas Panhandle. For day two, they have a slight risk that encompasses the area from North Mississippi across middle and western Tennessee and the western, uh, oh, about the western two-thirds of Kentucky into the Ohio River Valley. It cuts across the area of northwest Alabama uh, and uh, marginal risk otherwise. And the big question is going to be whether or not we, we see that uh, rain along the Gulf Coast actually cut things off like it did on Thursday. Just a small marginal risk over Florida on day three. And when you get out to day five, which is actually Wednesday into Thursday, uh, Storm Prediction Center is out looking an area from Oklahoma up into southeastern Iowa, so a fairly substantial area out there. All right, let's get to the 06Z GFS model run. And uh, there is a look at what's happening uh, today. And we do have the showers along the Gulf Coast. I think the GFS may have brought the rain a little too far to the north. Uh, and in the upper atmosphere, by tomorrow at midday, we've got uh, a nice trough coming across uh, the middle and upper Mississippi River Valley, and that will be responsible for generating a, a surface low that will move into the western Great Lakes in the vicinity of uh, northern Lake Michigan there with a cold front trailing down into the lower Mississippi River Valley. So we're going to see uh, showers and thunderstorms, and again, the, the risk of some severe will be to our northwest. Uh, the GFS does show a pretty good uh, shot at some Cape values, so I do think we will see some thunder. But the interesting part is there's very little in the way of any shear values. So uh, right now it looks like it's kind of iffy as to whether we'll see much of anything. That trough moves off into New England very quickly, and we begin to come under a ridge on Monday. So that should dry us out as the surface high settles in over uh, the middle Mississippi River Valley. We stay pretty nice on Tuesday as we have a ridge overhead, and that ridge moves off a little bit uh, by uh, Wednesday as it gets over the East Coast, and we're watching the development of a nice trough coming out of the Rockies. But that trough looks like by Thursday it will move up into the Great Lakes. So we're staying under a zonal to slightly southwesterly uh, to a slightly southwesterly flow. And so the bottom line is it doesn't look like we're going to see a great deal, but the um, surface low over the Great Lakes will drag that front down into the southeastern U.S. And so there's a question as to exactly what our risk of severe weather may be on uh, Thursday, but it does look like Wednesday and Thursday will be a bit unsettled. 
the trough begins to, to actually deepen a little bit as it digs into the eastern half of the country on Friday. And uh, so that will probably uh, eventually move the precipitation out. So it looks like rain should be ending by uh, the first part of the day on Friday. And then we see the trough on Saturday. Doesn't quite bottom out just yet, but certainly brings in some cooler air as the surface high settles over the north Texas. We're not getting a really strong northerly fetch, but it's certainly coming out of the north a little bit. And then the trough finally bottoms out on Sunday as we're verging into voodoo country. So for next weekend, look for temperatures to drop back with lows in the 40s and highs in the 60s. Looking out into uh, voodoo country, we start the voodoo period with uh, fairly nice weather with a nice ridge coming over uh, the eastern and southeastern part of the country. But that doesn't last long because around the 7th of April, we see a nice trough coming across the mid-Mississippi River Valley once again. And then there's another one around the 10th. So no rest for the weary in the weather office. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Once again, thanks for tuning in. We'll have the next one posted uh, on Sunday morning. Might be a little bit late due to some social activities this evening. Have a great day and Godspeed.